We have a saying in Michigan, it goes, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. But this is gonna take a couple of days. So our nitro project is shut down. And with the weather being so horrible outside, I thought, let's do projects inside. We got a couple projects that we can do in here while the weather is horrible outside. And once it clears up, we can get back to trying to take that engine out. But I got a engine stand that we can build and there's a restoration on a old Sears hydraulic jack that no longer works. So we're gonna take it apart and restore it. So yeah. Hopefully you guys will stick around and uh, we'll do some inside projects. Instead of taking stuff apart, we'll build. All right, stay tuned. Man versus machine. Today's show will feature these fine products. Well, that time has come to build this beast. From Pittsburgh Automotive, it's a thousand pound engine stand. Purchased from Harbor Freight Tools in Clinton Township, Michigan. So, let's open this box up, see the tools that we need to build it, and let's have some fun today. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. Parts is parts. Let's put them together. And this is what you get in the little bolt bag that you get. These four are 18 millimeter. The one that's underneath here, 19 millimeter, just to let you know. All right, let's resume our build. And now it's time to put the wheels on. So we take the wheel, get the shaft inside. Wheel goes in this way. Next to the washer, lock washer, nut. Fourteen millimeter Okay, a couple things I wanted to point out is that this right here is not worn off paint. What it is, I mean it's here, 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 it's all over. And what it is is it's this probably was painted and it was still wet and they put it in the styrofoam box and then shipped it so it adhered to all the wet paint. That's the only excuse I can come up for such workmanship. Anyways, that's not what I wanted to point out. What I wanted to point out is this situation here that not too many people know. This is painted. The inside of this is painted. So when you Put it together and it starts turning, but you have a lot of weight on it. It'll stick together. It'll get all gummy in there. And these two paints will be almost like spray adhesive. 
causing you a bunch of trouble to try to turn this engine that's on here. So we're going to fix this problem. We've got products today and we're going to show you what we're going to do to fix this gumminess. So stay tuned. So what we need to do is sand this paint off of here whether we're using a sanding sponge like this one or sandpaper the only thing I have is 320 so I mean it's gonna take me a while but this is the idea of it you just remove everything that's on this shaft I'm done so my shaft and just you remove all the paint on it and on the inside of where it goes, which is, remember, inside here, sand inside both, inside there and that other part, and we'll be back. This takes three fingers. Two animals. The sanding is coming along really good. It's almost off. I got a little bit more to do. But in the meanwhile, while we're waiting for me to finish sanding, I just heated up some hot water, some really hot water. And we're gonna take our product we're gonna use today, slip plate graphite lubricant and we're going to put it in this hot water here this is an old painter's trick and it's going to warm up the contents in it and it's going to be just like soft butter when we pour it on mm -hmm. okay so the next step is i'm going to take this brake cleaner spray it into a rag and clean the inside of this so there's no oils or debris or any of that stuff. Look at And just keep doing that. Until we get this clean. Nice. Okay. Gross. So both parts came out really good after the sanding and I've cleaned them with brake cleaner and now there's no oil or debris on either part. So we're going to spray it right now. Here's a quick tip while using solvents and uh, in an enclosed area if you don't want to get high open the area and then you can ventilate it i think that's what the manufacturer recommends this was just a quick tip on that subject take it out of the warm water We're going to want to shake it. Hopefully we can shake it up to a minute, but you get the idea of shaking a can until it mixes whatever's inside of it. All right, so the manufacturer said, and I quote, that it takes 30 minutes and up to four hours before fully curing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it on there and I'm gonna leave it overnight. And we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what the results are. But it should be very exciting. It's 
just like paint, only it's graphite. And what that does is it'll create a nice, dry, lubricated surface. It'll be almost like skating on ice. Or some kind of scenario that's like that. What an awesome product, though, for sure. Man, that looks so good. Kind of like primer, almost. And this is gonna be exciting. I can't wait to use this. I want to put a nice coat on here. All right. Well, let's let that dry, and tomorrow we'll come in here and we'll assemble it, and we can see what it does. Slippery when dry slip plate the original dry film graphite lubricant okay so to put a second coat on this four hours after the first one and then it's been sitting for 48 hours so we're going to fully assemble this stand and get it ready for use today. All right. Slipper in there. And we got a handle. There's another rubber piece here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with some soapy water. You guys see that soapy water? And we'll put it through here. And put this on top. All Need some more soapy water. Just like that. Okay. And then this pin goes here when you want to lock it, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Now let's put, let's assemble this part, which is pretty easy. It's three parts, this bolt, 
washer and nut. Can you guys see that? This is what holds the engine to the stand. We'll run bolts through here that we'll have to go get and they'll connect to the engine. It's going to be really exciting times. So anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that the stand is fully made. And we got that spray graphite on there. So it should work better than... The manufacturer ever dreamed it would. Okay. So, Harbor Freight's thousand pound engine stand. Ahoy, Captain! Land ho! Okay. So, I hope this was informative. And you can see that that spray graphite just like, is like a dream. Oh, man. Oh. Thanks, slip plate. As a public service to my mechanic friends that buy a engine stand to do repairs, this is a great stocking stuffer that you can ask for for Christmas. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Oil pan. That's what I'm talking about. It's on Amazon.